We showed you the beauty goods that our guys should be taking advantage of, so now let's help them organize them. Things start to pile up, so Leslie got some tips to clear the clutter in today's Get Organized. Ah, uh, yes, men, we know you love to keep your stuff all over the place, but that drives us crazy, so now it's time to get organized. Jeffrey Calandra, thank you for joining us again. Thank you. How can we make this simple? So one of the places you want to start is your dresser. The dresser top is really the catch-all of the bedroom, and it houses a lot of stuff just like the snack bar does in the kitchen. Yeah, uh, true, true. <laughs> so the first area to start with is your colognes. I like the tray you have here, that's so handy. Yeah, the tray actually has another purpose rather than just looking good, it's also to protect your furniture. So even though it doesn't happen often, the pump on top of the cologne bottle could happen to leak, which will cause the oils to run down the side of the bottle and then actually damage So this just dresser. keeps it all neat and exactly. doesn't ruin your furniture, perfect. Correct. The next thing is this little box here. So every guy, they may not wear jewelry and have a lot of watches and cufflinks and things, but everyone has something that's special. They so it's like a, a jewelry box items. on their desk. It is. Um, and this little organizational, um, the different compartments within this piece allow you to keep things like your sunglasses, a lucky penny, um, cufflinks, just a couple special items so that you know where they are when you actually need them. This is um, your pockets. So oh, so they can just dump all their dump stuff in their pocket. Right there. Um, guys don't carry purses around with them. Everything goes in their pockets. So when they unload their pockets, they need somewhere to put that stuff. And having a little tray or a bowl is a great way to keep it in one spot. And so then it it's not all over, over the place. Exactly. Now moving on to the bathroom, the toiletries. Yes. What do you suggest to keep that all neat? <laughs> well, the first thing is you want to make sure that you designate areas to put everything. Um, if items don't have a home, they're very much more likely to land up wherever there's an open space. So you always want to make sure that you give an item a home so that the guys will know where to put it back. And what about the shaving? I mean, we have a lot of grooming kits and they're, they're all over the place usually. They are. So the first thing is with shaving, if you actually invest in a good fog proof mirror and take care of shaving in the shower. You'll oh. be able to trim your beard in the shower, you'll be able to shave in the shower, which will give you a more comfortable and close shave. And you won't have the stubble in the sink. Exactly. So there's no cleanup mess. Not a lot of people can keep everything in the bathroom. You know, it's, bathrooms are small nowadays, so some, some people are lucky, but what do you suggest for excess? Stuff. Excess stuff, I always recommend taking excess um, mouthwash and excess deodorant and even those travel products that you only use every so often, mm -hmm. put those in a hall closet or on the top shelf of a bedroom closet to really open up more space in your bathroom and eliminate some clutter. What advice do you give? Why should men do this? Or how can we get women you know, to convince their man to do this? Well, one little thing is it will probably help eliminate some nagging. So. Oh, and everyone wants a healthy relationship. So this isn't organized advice. This is relationship exactly. advice. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Perfect. You're Thanks, Leslie. I love those little trays for the colognes. Great idea. I could use that trick for myself. We'll be right back.